In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some Maya scripts and plugins that were developed by Eric Lamin, who is a talented lead and senior 3D modeler with 12 years of experience in visual effects. He worked for many studios like Double Negative, Scanline VFX, and Framestore, just to name a few. Working on projects like Dune, Blade Runner 2049, The Guardians of the Galaxy, and more. And during his spare time, he developed a wide variety of tools for Maya to help you speed up your workflow and increase your productivity. And we're gonna start with a script called Renamer. This one is useful for Maya users because it's gonna help you keep your projects organized. This tool is all about naming, adding prefixes and suffixes. It's gonna also help you do search and replace tasks in a breeze. One cool thing about it is that you can customize how you can name things to fit your specific project's needs, which is gonna help you keep everything consistent and I think it will help you keep things easy to manage because when things get really complicated, you will understand why naming your stuff is gonna be very important. And now, let's talk about some of its features. First, this tool can help you remove characters, which is great for cleaning up and standardizing names across multiple assets. This can be especially useful in big scenes where it is easy to get lost in the outline or searching for your assets. You can also tag materials, making it simple to manage your texturing process by showing which materials are assigned to what. And one of the big time savers with this plugin is the auto name process, which can handle repetitive tasks for you, like renaming a series of objects based on rules that you set. This means you can spend less time on tedious stuff and more time on the creative aspect of your work. This script also comes with a minimalist mode, which gives you a clean and simple interface that doesn't take up much screen space, and this is gonna be even better if you're working on a high resolution display or if you just like having a less busy workspace. Even in this minimal mode, you still have access to all the important features, so you are not missing out on anything. Another neat aspect is how Renamer helps to maintain a smooth workflow because it tackles character formatting issues and even removes unwanted characters. This can be a huge help when you are dealing with large scenes with lots of elements. And for anyone using Maya, Renamer 2.1 is gonna be a must-have because its features like customizable naming, character formatting, material tagging, and other automated processes, I think it will make managing and organizing scene elements so much easier. And this ability to manage naming conventions and automating tasks can in the long term ensure that you can maintain order and consistency throughout your project and most importantly, it will save you a lot of time. Another important script from this developer is called UV Kit, which is an awesome toolkit for Maya that can completely change your UV and fold and layout process to make it even better obviously. And this script is gonna be packed with features that will automate and simplify many of the repetitive tasks that come with the UV mapping process, which I know you know, and how it sometimes gets tedious and repetitive. First, let's talk about the UD Packer. This feature helps you organize your UVs, I mean UV shells, into different UDIMs. Not only are all the shells rotated correctly, but it also handles repeating objects by giving them the same layout across different UDIMs. And this ensures everything looks clean and professional, which is crucial when you are dealing with complex models, like organic models or very complex hard surface models. And the next feature we've got is the UV check feature. This tool for some people is gonna be fantastic for catching any UV issues early on because it helps you check for overlapping UVs, UVs that cross UDIM borders, and shells that are completely outside the UV space. Plus, it points out any objects that don't have UVs at all, so you don't have to look for any UV objects manually. Another cool tool is the ability to move UVs from a source to a target UDIM with just one click. And this makes rearranging UVs quick and easy, I think. And this one is great, especially when you are working on large scenes. UV kit also lets you assign a direction and a checker pattern texture, I mean assign them to your UVs, which can help you visualize them better and spot any issues right away. And with a handy shortcut to the Maya UV sets window, managing your UV sets has never been easier. One more feature worth mentioning is the grid arrange tool. This one allows you to pack similar shells in a grid layout, and you can specify the number of columns and rows. This one is especially useful for repetitive elements in your model, which ensures consistency across your work. So to sum it up, 
UV Kit is gonna be a fantastic toolkit for anyone using Maya thanks to its features like UV Packer, UV Check, and Greater Range, along with the ability to move UVs between UDIMs, making the process more efficient knowing that this part of the workflow is tedious and consumes a lot of time for a lot of artists. And now we're gonna move to Build Kit, which is a script that brings a lot of powerful features for mesh, selection, layout, importing, exporting, and curve operations. From what I can see, basically it is designed to make your workflow smoother, especially if you are into hard surface modeling. First of all, let's talk about the radial duplicator. This feature allows you to copy and move an object around the center point that you can specify. Sure, Maya Mesh can do this, but BuildKit I think makes it a lot easier and more convenient, which makes it great for hard surface modelers who need precise control over their duplications. So whether you are working on a complex mechanical model or something more conventional, this tool I think can save you a lot of time. Next you have the quad fill feature, and this one fills holes in your mesh with quads which are optimized for accurate topology. It is great for cleaning up your models and ensuring that your geometry is solid and gap free, which is really important I would say. Another cool feature is selection by pattern. This works with faces, edges, and vertices, letting you select every other face or skip two or more faces in each selection. It can be super useful for creating intricate patterns or just speeding up the selection process in general. You also have the snap to component feature, which can be a game changer. It basically lets you copy your object, so it sits perfectly on the polygon or vertex that you select, which is gonna be great for adding decals or micro details to your main model. So you can create these details separately and then attach them precisely where you want them to be. The script also includes a transform randomizer, which adds variety and also randomness to your scene or area of objects. This can be great for making things look more natural and less uniform, so you can use it to quickly add some diversity to your models without having to manually adjust each one. Creating selection sets is another handy feature of BuildKit, because you can create sets for both objects and components and you can merge them and even export and import them later. This is especially useful for managing complex scenes and for ensuring that you can easily select and modify groups of elements. One more thing to mention is the support for instances. The object you duplicate or snap to components can be instances of a single object, which is great for efficiency, but you need to modify them individually and you can convert them to normal objects. And finally, let's talk about the curve tools. So, with this script, you can convert edges to curves, which is very useful and helpful too, especially for creating precise paths and shapes. There is also a snapping feature that makes curves stick to objects, making it easier to create complex shapes that follow the contour of your models. And with the extra tool, you can create cables, ropes, and pipes in a short period of time. Last but not least, we have Shader Kit, which is, in a nutshell, a fast and compact shader management tool that is gonna be a great replacement for the Hyper Shader interface in Maya. From what I can see, this script offers a clean material manager where you can add, rename, and delete materials effortlessly. And one of its standout features, in my opinion, is its ability to color label shaders, making it easier to distinguish and isolate different types of materials, like metallic versus non-metallic ones. Shader Kit also includes a handy search bar, which is gonna be great if your scene is crowded with shaders. And creating materials using this script is gonna be really straightforward, which allows you to choose which shaders to show for each render engine, and assigning materials is also super simple. Just select your object in the viewport and then the material, and it can even assign random materials to multiple objects at once, and reassign materials to fix any errors. Another cool feature is the ability to select objects by selecting the material assigned to them, and vice versa. And the only thing I can say at the end is that give Shader Kit a try and see how it can simplify your shading workflow. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these scripts and plugins, you will find all the necessary links in the description. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching again and I will see you in the next one.